I fought Wolfie in the Grand Challenge. I hope that he doesn't sue me for this. What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and welcome to day two of my Grand Challenge run with Hisui and Zoroark. I'm gonna jump right into the battles here. Just gonna let you know that on the day one of this, I had a more in-depth breakdown of how to use this team and what it's all about. But if you don't care about that, let's just get right on into the battles. Okay, uh, Tauros. Water. Typhlosion. First Typhlosion I've seen. Whimsicott. Blood Moon Ursa Luna, King Gambit, and Mousehold. Pretty standard way to run this stuff. I don't know if Water Tauros is that common. Uh, but the only answer my team has into Whimsicott Typhlosion is putting Armor Rouge in front. Nothing else will work. So I have to do Armor Rouge. Then, if I get Trick Room, Torkoal can go pretty crazy. I think I might also want Ursa Luna. Just as something to answer the King Gambit. Though honestly, Lilligan's looking really good. I know I want Torkoal. Oh, but actually Lilligan... Outside a Trick Room in the sun? A Lilligant can go pretty crazy into this team. Like, I can't hit Typhlosion, but I can hit Toro super effectively, or Saluna super effectively, King Gambit super effectively, Mousehold super effectively. And then not Whimsicott. But what's Whimsicott gonna do? Uh, do I really want to bring that in the back? I think I do. This is not a way I usually go. Usually, if I lead in DD Armourouge, I'm not gonna put Lilligant in the back, but I think this is a team where it's a perfect matchup for it. And they don't have a trainer card, which is like, yikes. Come on, man. Whimsicott and Mousehold. Not the worst. If they're Pop Bomb Mousehold, which they should be, they can take Indeedee, but then I get Trick Room and get Torkoal in. Uh, worst case would be what? They. Turn off my terrain. I guess instead of going for Pop Bomb, they could just taunt my Ndidi. That would be annoying. Assuming they have like Misty Surge, Misty Terrain on their Whimsicott. I think they led Mousehold with Follow Me to cover for Lily Cole. I think they were really worried about Lily Cole. So this is fine. I don't think this is the lead they anticipated. I'm gonna follow me Trick Room. Yeah, Whimsicott just swapped. Yeah, they didn't want this lead. Into King Gambit. Well, maybe. But if you take out my, uh, Ndidi here, then I get Torkoal in for free, which is beautiful. Just taunt. Hmm, okay. Definitely awkward. I think I need to hard bring in Torkoal for the Ndidi. I could Terra Grass to try to take a hit from King Gambit. Might be my best play. Yeah, bring in Torkoal for the Ndidi for sure. Try to take advantage of these Trick Room turns. Probably Terra Grass defensively. I could see them going Terra Dark, maybe. If I get Torkoal in, I'm less worried about King Gambit, so maybe I just click Expanding Force, so that way Mousehold can't get a Pop Bomb off. Because both of my Mons should be able to take a Kowtow Cleave. Torkoal has great defense, and Armor Rouge has pretty good defense, and I'm getting rid of the weakness. So if I get rid of the Mousehold, then they can't just like Pop Bomb. I think they probably have Pop Bomb. Whimsicott plus Mousehold would have been a really weird cleave if they didn't have Pop Bomb. Here's Kowtow Cleave. They are in fact slower than my Armor Rouge. But they didn't protect the mouse. And the mouse is not Sash. Alright, we have full health Torkoal on the field. Let's go. And 
here's Whimsicott. If Eruption doesn't take King Gambit, because they probably Terra, then they get to hit my Armor Rouge. So I'm going to Eruption and bring in Indeedee. There's a chance the Whimsicott has like Light Screen. The King Gambit most likely terrastalizes here to hit to take the eruption. If they have a defense, if they have Dark Terra, they probably go after. Hmm. D depending on their Terra, will tell me who they're going after. If they're like Fire Terra, they probably go after Armorers. They're Fairy Terra. That makes them vulnerable to expanding force. So they might want to go after Armor Rouge in this case. We get our Eruption, they did not have Light Screen, and now they do not have Whimsicott. And I'm hoping they just hit my Indeedee. I'd be fine with that. Looks like they're going after Torkoal though. Ah, so I could have Expanding Forced. Alright. That's fine. Hello Typhlosion. I need to take out King Gambit. And 110 out of 177. Times 150 is 93 power spread. Weather Ball does way more. I'm gonna Weather Ball the King Gambit. Yeah, I'm gonna Weather Ball the King Gambit, and I think I'll just throw a Psychic at Typhlosion. Just chip it so that if it glocks into Eruption, it doesn't do much. Weather Ball should definitely be able to pick up this KO. And then most Typhlosions are choiced. So, so if they pick a Ghost move, they can never hit Indeedee. If they pick a Fire move, they can never hit Armor move. If they're not choiced, it gets a little awkward. Ooh, over half. Beautiful. But they know that and they click eBay. Oh, it doesn't even do enough. Alright, last turn of Trick Room, so this is where we find out if they're choice. They can't Terra, so Earth Power is fine. Psychic will also finish them. They're definitely choice. Okay, they were never going to beat Armor Rouge then if they're locked into Heat Wave. GG. Alright, starting off day two strong. Love it. Never got to bring in the Lilligant, but tr Trick Room was about to end, so it could have cleaned up the game there. GG. Okay, this is my first opponent above 1700, so I'm terrified. They have a Sneasler, but no terrain. They have Dozo Giri. They have Blood Moon, King Gambit, Dragonite. I have to bring my Don Dozo answer. Uh, if they're worried about Lily Cold, they'll just bring Dragonite, and there's nothing Lily Cold can really do to a Dragonite. I think I have to do Indeedy Armor Rouge. Or Saluna Torkoal. Lilligant seems okay, but they have two really solid answers to Lilligant. And if the Dondozo just preserves Terra Grass, then Lilligant can't do anything to it. Because Lilligant can't really hit Sneasler, and Sneasler can Dire Claws back. If we don't put up Psychic Terrain, it could fake us out. Extreme Speed, Sucker Punch. Lilligant doesn't like any of those things. Yeah, I don't think there's any lead where I like Lily Cole. King Gambit is going to be really annoying if they bring it. Though, of course, so is Don Dozo. But I mean, this person's above 1700, so if I lose this one, I don't lose that many points. And if I win this one, I jump way up, so I'm going to give it my all. So far, I fought, what, two Don Dozos? And I've gone one and one? Ooh, cool card. Yeah, but the Dondos I've, I've fought, they've both been really tough games, so. They do bring Dondozo, Dragonite. Yeah, Lily Cole would have been awful here. This is the follow me trick room of all time. It's entirely plausible their last is a Min Speed King Gambit, I guess. Follow me 
Terra Grass to cover for Earthquake. Or to cover for them just going Outrage Wave Crash. And set Trick Room. It's the only play. Alright, we're getting our Terra. It looks like they're not going to switch. They're probably not going to Terra. I would guess... Dragonite might have Ice Spinner. I think they might be going for Ice Spinner here. Protect from Dragonite. Okay. Protect from Don Dozo. Okay. They were worried about Zork, and we got to take advantage of that. That's actually huge. I absolutely love that. I want to expanding force. The question is whether I want to bring in Ursa Luna or if I want a helping hand. I need to get these trick room turns going. I need to bring in Ursa Luna right here. It's aggressive and could cost me a lot. But I need to do it. The only way I'm breaking through Don Dozo that has protect that's shown that it's gonna be protecting is to get as much damage as soon as possible. Yeah, there's a Yawn. There's an Expanding Force. Big damage into both. I love that. Scale Shot into my Ursaluna. We can take that. It's okay. That's doing so much damage, but Ursaluna can eat it. I see no reason why they wouldn't double protect here. I guess I need to cover for if they don't. I can facade the Don Dozo. They think there's no way I click expanding force, right? I'm going to facade into Dragonite. No, I'm going to facade into Don Dozo. And bring Torkoal in, just so I don't fall asleep. They, It's so easy for them to double protect that I'm wondering if they'll call me calling the double protect. That's my fear. Dondozo protects. Its protect would come out first. Dragonite didn't protect! Oh, I had it right the first time! Well, there goes Ursa Luna. No! Torkoal can take this. Okay. That's not so bad. Alright, I'm guaranteed to hit onto the Dondozo slot here. What hit should I take? Probably the facade. Facade's the only thing that's going to KO from here. But does that mean they think their Dragonite is safe? Oh, if I had gone the other way with facade, I probably would be winning this game. Their facade sw switch in is King Gambit? That's not happening. Facade the Dozo. I guess I click Weather Ball into Dragonite, but it's not going to KO. Hopefully Dragonite protects, trying to catch my facade there. But they know I've been targeting down Don Dozo. They know I want Don Dozo gone. Okay, no protect from either. Dragonite's gonna take a KO. Ooh, it's almost gone though. And Don Dozo's gone. But they get to pick a KOs. Unless they miss a scale shot. That thing is not 100 accuracy. And they take out Ursa Luna. All right. Uh, 
are running out of all of our stuff. Psychic terrain's running low, tr trick room's running low. Guess I bring in armor rouge. They bring in Sneasler. Okay. They preserved Terra. Last turn of Trick Room and last turn of Psychic Terrain. I want to click Eruption and Armor Cannon just in case they don't protect something. And I can't let Dragonite start getting E-Speeds next turn. Yeah, they do just double protect. Okay. So I, I wanted to bring in Ndidi on that turn. Just so I could follow me Trick Room this next turn. But it doesn't going to work out that way. Okay, so now Sneasler should Dire Claw into my Armor Rouge. Dragonite can Scale Shot into my Torkoal. Torkoal should be able to eat that. So I swap in Ndidi here. Ndidi has to eat the hit. If their last is Tatsugiri, maybe we've got a shot. Yeah, alright. Bring in Ndidi for the Armor Rouge. Get the Psychic Terrain up. If they double Torque Hole, that's not so bad. I'm gonna Weather Ball Dragonite. I anticipate it to be Scale Shot into Torkoal, Dire Claw into Armor Rouge. If Dire Claw gets sleep, uh, we're just done. That move just busted. And if the Scale Shot takes out Torkoal, is that the end of the game? Maybe. Okay, only four hits. Thank you. Dire Claw, exactly where I expected it to be, less than half. Poison. I'll take it. It's not sleep, it's not para. It's annoying, but it's manageable. Unfortunate. Uh, they could have always close combated next turn. So it was always going to be a two shot. they have Ursa Luna. Nope, I lose. Nothing I can do here. Close combat into Indeedy. Hyper Voice. Hmm. Dire Claw would have taken out Armor Rouge. I would have been in basically the same position. I swapped Torkoal into Indeedy and lost Armor Rouge. That wouldn't have helped. I think I can only win now if they throw. I'm gonna try to trick room. Yeah, they're not throwing. Alright, GG. Uh, that was really rough. If I had gotten the facade on Dragonite call right, if I had... Known you hadn't brought Tatsugiri and not cared about the, uh... Alright, well, is there a way to win this? If we can take a Dire Claw and we're faster than Ursa Luna and they don't terastalize their Sneasler, that's too much to ask for, though. That's not happening. First of all, I don't even think we take a Dire Claw because Indeedee took about half. We've got 189, 120. Oh, actually? How much do we actually have left? 171? Dire Claw is actually closer than I thought. We'd have to also Oko the Ursa Luna with Expanding Force, and they would have to not throw Dark Terra at us right now. So there's a million ways for this to not work. Yeah, here's Dark Terra. 
Stellar Terra. Oh no, that's gonna get the KO for sure. Okay. So our tiny chance just evaporated. Maybe they clicked close combat. Nope. Yeah, because there was a tiny chance we lived that. They were just covering for that. So they never had Dark Terra. We, we were probably also gonna be slower than their Urza Luna anyway, but maybe they were min speed for some reason. Anyway, GG. At least I lose to someone high ranked. And you got a good card. Alright, we've got a King Gambit, Sneasler, Electabuzz, Primarina, Rillaboom, Salamence. So many Pokemon I do not like seeing on this opponent's team. <laughs> I do not like seeing any of this. They've got Follow Me, so Lilicolda isn't that great. They've got Rillaboom, so Psychic Terrain isn't that great. They've got King Gambit, so our Psychic types aren't that great. They've got King Gambit, so Zorark isn't actually that great anyway. got Salamence, which hurts Lilligan's chances. I think I need to go Zork. I think I need to go Indeedy Zork. Get some big damage. Not even bring Torkoal. And just trust that Ursa Luna and Arm Rouge can handle the King Gambit. Oh, Ursa Luna has some trouble there against that Water type and that Grass type and that Fighting type. Oh no. And if I save Terra for it, well then I Terra Ghost in front of a King Gambit. It's the plan I've got. It's what we're gonna try to do. If I can get rid of the King Gambit, then actually Terra Ghost Ursa Luna can go crazy. Okay, you got a card. This is going to be a tough match. Th this style of team is one of the harder ones for me. But I like this lead. I will love clicking Hyper Voice. One problem is... I need to click follow me and not helping hand. Because the Sneasler could have throat chop. And if they throat chop my hyper voice, well then I can't hyper voice. And also Zorak will die. Unless I Terra normal. But I don't think I'm gonna commit Terra. I don't think Terra hyper voice gets a KO here that regular hyper voice doesn't. I could be wrong on Sneasler. But Primarina definitely takes it either way. We're just click and follow me. I don't see any Terra. They just dire claw. Maybe they don't have throat chop then. They get a paralysis on Indeedy. That's annoying. Yeah, Terra wasn't gonna change that. Whoo, Zorak almost goes down to that. That was Life Orb Primarina, got it. Uh, I, if I get the follow me with Ndidi, Terra Normal Hyper Voice clears the board. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Yeah, you can swap out your Sneasler to save it. Into Rillaboom. This makes a lot of sense if you have Aqua Jet on Cream Arena. But that follow me would still redirect. And getting this big hit off, I love. And now even if you, my Ndidi gets full parried, I should still be able to take out Primarina. Unless this is just to protect Primarina. Yeah, just to get Rillaboom in. Well hey, you can uh, fake out my Zork now that I committed Terra to it. See how much I do though. Huge damage on Rillaboom. 
Yeah, fake out my Zor hyper voice. That's your play. And who do I swap into a hyper voice? Nothing! Oh, no. Wait a minute. This is really bad. I'm about to get swept by Primarina, unless I can somehow finagle a way out of this. I'm giving up my whole back line. Because Zorak is the only thing that can handle Primarina at this point. I did not bring the right mons, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, they did exactly what I thought they would do. Oh no, they moon blasted. Is there any chance that I can get Trick Room up here? I'm gonna go for Facade on Primarina and try to set Trick Room. If I lose both of these Mons, I still have a shot, so it's what I need to do. Okay, they would hammer Armor Rouge plus Hyper Voice. That should be a double KO. Oh boy. Okay, now they need to position correctly because if they have King Gambit left, I can't win. Oh, this is so bad. Primarina has been such a pain for me. I should have just brought Lily Cole. <sighs> Here I can helping hand Hyper Voice. They swap out Rillaboom, they can get a Grassy Glide later, which I can follow me. They swap out Rillaboom, they can get a Fake Out later, which I can't follow me. Alright, there's the swap on Rillaboom. Is it just King Gambit? Yeah! Come on, man! Well, let's see, does Helping Hand Hyper Voice get a, <laughs> get a two hit KO? Oh, I like that free Marina Protect, actually. If I can two-shot with Helping Hand Hyper Voice, then maybe? But there's no way. Oh, not even close. I'll follow me in case they go for, like, swap in Rillaboom Sucker Punch, but this game's over. Man, the Marina always giving me such trouble. And I did good damage into it right away, but they just kept it too safe. And they knew it was their win condition. Now it can't win against Rillaboom, because it can just Grassy Glide. And now the King Gambit can also Sucker Punch. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is exact kind of team that I lost to, like, my very first match in day one was like this exact team. Might be this exact team. I guess I keep clicking the hyper voice button in case they sucker punch themselves on accident. I don't know. <laughs> There's Glide. Bye. Alright. Starting off day two, not too hot. But we'll bounce back. This person was also very high ranked, so I shouldn't lose too much of this. Start giving me uh, people I can beat, please. Thanks. GG.
Okay, Typhlosion Whimsicott. I have to lead in DD Armor. I didn't even look at the rest of the team yet. Typhlosion Whimsicott, Garchomp, Annihilate, Dragonite, Ursaluna, Blood Moon. A Gambit Ape would be terrifying. Wow, they got bulky Mons. They got a lot of HP there, but they don't have a Psychic Resistance. So actually, Ndidi Armourouche seems fine anyway. The way they stop Armourouche is they final Gambit by Ndidi, and then they Outrage with a Choice Band Dragonite, or they Blood Moon with a Terra Normal Ursa Luna. My answer to final Gambit is... Huh. I have to lead Armor Rouge if they're gonna go Typhlosion. But final Gambit, I would need Zoroark. Maybe Zoroark isn't bad in the back. Maybe I could do in DD Armor Rouge Zoroark disguised as Ursa Luna. Torkoal doesn't seem that great anyway. Doesn't really hit Dragonite, Typhlosion. I think it hits Typhlosion all right. Doesn't really hit Garchomp. If it's a if it's a defensive, like Water or Fire Terra on Ape, it doesn't really hit that either. Man, I am pulling out weird combinations. I am pulling out super weird combinations in this game. All right, they got a good trainer card. I have never brought these four in this order before. <laughs> Annihilate Dragonite. Oh, it's gonna be Final Gambit Outrage, isn't it? Uh, you know the Ndidi is actually an Ndidi. So if I make that a Zor, Maybe you final gambit into it. And then if you outrage the Zork, I get Trick Room up. If you outrage the Armor Rouge, I have Zork in. Yeah, this should work. If they final gambit into Armor Rouge and then outrage, maybe I'm in trouble. We're gonna see a Terra. That I didn't expect. From Dragonite. Into Flying. Okay, so it's not Outrage, it's Flying Terra Blast. It is Final Gambit, and I got the call right. That's beautiful. Terra Blast, as long as it's not Choice Band, Armoru should be able to take. Yeah, that's fine. Beautiful. Okay, now we get an expanding force, and <laughs> I guess we get in the real Ursa Luna. Who do they swap into expanding force? They have nothing to swap into expanding force. They could Terra Blast Arm Rouge again. Zork, see, it goes before Annihilate, but it won't go before Dragonite is the problem. Ursa Luna can take a Terra Blast, though. I think we're in a fine position. So this is that strat where the, the Annihilate probably has coaching, and it might be like Assault Vest Multiscale Dragonite. So it's gonna take this expanding force really well. But then Ursa Luna should be able to knock it out with the sound next turn. Especially if it's Assault Vest and can't protect. All right, they're giving me eight. I'm cool with that. Yeah, that Dragonite took that really well. It should just be a Terra Blast into Armor Rouge to take out Armor Rouge. No, you're gonna let me keep expanding my forces? Okay, love it. Maybe they knew that was Zork and wanted to take it out. They saw that I didn't get Flame Orb, they're like, ah, you not slick. You're right, it was Zork. But it's not Zork anymore. I swapped the bear for the bear. So having Zork did just... I mean, if I had just follow me and lost in Didi, that wouldn't have been so bad. 
So I didn't need to do all that, really. Sod will go first, take out Dragonite. And then we get a single target expanding force into Garchomp. Is it worth Terra Grass in case they live? I would really like to keep Armor Rouge around, so yeah. Facade. Is there another better Terra? Ghost and Grass. Nope, I think this is the best Terra I have. I'm gonna take another Life Orb tick, but if they survive the turn, and if they, like, if they like don't protect, it would probably be an Earthquake from the Garchomp. Which is relatively weak. So maybe after Life Orb I can still take that. Dragonite protects. Garchomp also protecting? No, good play. This makes the Expanding Force uh, stay as a spread move, so Garchomp's definitely going to take it. But this is why I covered for Earthquake. So it's not Assault Vest on Dragonite. Got that wrong. Almost a KO. Single target it would have just KO'd. Yep, here's an Earthquake. No one should go down to this, right? Ooh, Armor Rouge does go down. From a crit. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, I set Trick Room. I clicked Expanding Force. I clicked Expanding Force again. Got two more Trick Room terms. Oh, they're Life Orb Garchomp. 31 down to 18. We could take another. Dee comes in because Trick Room is still up. For two whole turns. Oh yeah, Facade should take out Dragonite. Their swap into that is Typhlosion. Psychic will finish off Garchomp. They can protect and bring in Typhlosion. There's really nothing I can do about that. I guess I could try to cover for that and Psychic into the Typhlosion slot. Yeah. Oh, they're playing the mind game. And a protect from Garchomp. Alright, uh, they preserve Typhlosion through the end of Trick Room. And I just lose, right? Oh, that is that crit on Armor Rouge gonna matter that much? They just swap Typhlosion 100%. They have Eruption left. I can't win, can I? So, like, I can call that, but... No, if they swap Typhlosion... Oh, they would have to be Scarf. Actually, I could just be faster than them. If I take both of these KOs and they're not Scarf... Yes, okay, I got the call on Typhlosion right. Yeah, if they're not a Scarf Typhlosion, Zorak is faster. I could take two KOs here, I Shadow Ball the end. Garchomp goes for the double protect, they must not be Scarf. Oh, it all comes down to whether the Typhlosion is Scarf or Specs, or a secret third thing. They would just protect if they had Protect. There was no reason for the Typhlosion to play that game. They could have just protected. So they're definitely Choice. I don't see any reason for Garchomp to protect if you have Scarf Typhlosion. Unless you're worried about Sash Zork. Um, I guess, can Indeedee win this? We don't have our Psychic Seed anymore. Yeah, you see my specs. I have to Shadow Ball you. 
You already burned Terra. You're gonna click a spread move. But if you scarf into Eruption, I wonder if Psychic knocks you low enough such that I can live another one. The biggest throw would be going for Trick Room here, and they have Protect. Okay. Phew! They were not scarfed that whole time. Let's go, Zorg. Zorg put in so much work, clicking one move once. <laughs> oh boy, that was intense. GG to my opponent. Okay, I'm fighting someone named Wolfie. Uh, I hope this isn't actually Wolfie. They've got Weezing, Typhlosion, Corviknight, Palmot, Garchomp. Our Chalodon. This is very similar to what Wolfie ran in Baltimore, so actually... <laughs> um, anyway. Weezing is actually one of the most awkward matchups I have. Scarf Typhlosion would be faster than Zorg. But, oh, Scarf Typhlosion with Weezing can hit my Armor Rouge. Saluna loses its... I can't use Zork if they lead Weezing. This is such an awkward matchup. I'm gonna go in DD Armor Rouge. I'm gonna go hard Trick Room. I'm gonna bring Torkoal and Ursaluna. I think I have to go hard Trick Room, because even if Weezing's there, if I can get Trick Room up... Could wheezing, they could fake out taunt. I could cover for that by going for a double attack into wheezing. Yeah, I don't know. This is uh this is gonna be fun. What's Wolfie's trainer card look like? Maybe I'll know. That that looks like Wolfie. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Weezing and Palma. That's exactly what I thought. Okay. Well, they're gonna fake out one slot and taunt the other. And the one... Well, I don't know. I can't just call that Wolfie's gonna do a certain play. Which one do you fake out and which one do you taunt? If you taunt Armor Rouge... Psychic... Expanding force. Just double into this wheezing, try to get rid of it. I don't think a psychic from Indeedee is gonna do it. Yeah, it's gonna be a fake out there and a taunt the other way. Yeah, okay, saw that coming. Alright. I may not be able to beat you, but I know what you're doing. Good damage onto the wheezing. Love it. You would have to taunt my Armor Rouge. I'm gonna Psychic Palma and Armor Cannon the Weezing. Okay, it's just a double shock. I was wondering if I should try Terra there. But no, it's, yeah, it's a double up in the Sludge Bomb. Ooh, Armor Rouge lives! That's huge. Take Palmot down to its Sash. Maybe take Weezing out entirely, but I'm gonna lose my Armor Rouge. Special defense EVs we got on this Armor Rouge really paying off there. Get out of here, Weezing. Thank you for terrain, which I no longer need because I lost my Armor Rouge. Chomp, Corviknight, Archaladon. My Ndidi is taunted. Mm, 
maybe I can make something happen with Ursa Luna. Man, I really wish I brought Lilligant last. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Ursa Luna. And it's Typhlosion. Okay, we're in big trouble. Yeah, because this is close combat into my Ndidi plus Terrifier Eruption. And Ursa Luna just has to eat. If it's close combat into Ursa Luna, I can cover that with a Terra Ghost. Yeah. This is the play I have to do. This is still winnable if I get the, if the call is right, but I think Wolfie's gonna cover for a Ghost Terra Ursa Luna. I'd be shocked otherwise. Could it be Terra Palmot to get the double shock into Ursa Luna? That'd be too crazy. Yeah, it's Terra Fire Typhlosion. Which if it specs, I don't think Ursa Luna eats this anyway. But I am full health. Let's see. I'm trying my best here. And I've, I've called most of his plays. This just doesn't matter because he's just got a better <laughs> setup. Oh, it's just to protect from Palma. Alright. Does that mean Eruption doesn't take us out? Eruption doesn't take us out. That means I can only take out Typhlosion, not Bolt. Palmot can no longer hit Ursa Luna. Palmot could revive something that can hit Ursa Luna, though. Do I have my Follow Me back yet? Yes, thank you. Show me something with no spread moves. Chaladon doesn't usually have spread moves. Alright, so he's gonna revive. Probably Typhlosion. I have to follow me headlong rush this Archaladon, right? Close combat can take out Indeedee, then Archaladon can take out Myers Luna. Maybe I try to Trick Room and try to hit our Chaladon. Okay, it's just close combat. Indeed, he lives that. So I either get Trick Room or I get to hit the Archaladon, unless they have Snarl. It's just Power Herb Electro shot. Okay, must be sturdy Archaladon then. Um, in that case, I've got a shot here. Uh, if they hit Ursa Luna. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you do to Eruption plus Psychic? Oh man, <laughs> this is kind of so cool. The Didi living on three, the Armor Rouge living on seven. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, the Archaladon must be sturdy. Terra's already burned. Psychic Terrain has two turns. I Psychic the Archaladon to break a possible sturdy, and I erupt. Palmot protects. <laughs> Hoping uh, sturdy will save him then. Yeah, ho ho hoping I doubled into Palmot for some reason, or, or did just Helping Hand Eruption. But nope, I covered this dirty. That should be game. Yo! Psychic Palmot? Erupt. Yeah? 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 
Yeah, let's go! Woo! Alright, that's awesome. GG. Alrighty, we've got Blood Moon, Ursa Luna, Hisui, and Arcanine. Haven't seen that. Tyranitar, haven't seen that yet either. Whimsicott, Golden Go, Rillaboom. I really hate Tyranitar. Tyranitar plus Arcanine lead? Ooh. Ooh, that would be so rough. And you can't just go Lily Cole. Uh, what I could do is do like Armor Rouge, Lilligant, and DD Torkoal? I mean, I have Aura Sphere on my Armor Rouge. What leads do I have to cover for? Tyranitar Arcanine. Tyranitar most likely is coming, but in the back. Ursaluna is great here against everything but Rillaboom. Torkoal and Armor Rouge are great into Rillaboom. Do I drop Indeedee? It's not like I'm going to be clicking Expanding Force. But they have Encore and such. Maybe I do lead Lily Cole. Because I can just call a Tyranitar coming in and take it out. Ursaluna Armor Rouge? That's so weird. That's such a weird lead. I'm doing it. Like, I know what my team is good against and I know what my team is bad against. And my team is bad against Tyranitar. But I have multiple techs for it. I think the problem is if I bait it into Terra. Good trainer card. If I bait it into Terrastalize in turn one. No, it wouldn't Terrastalize. It would swap out turn one if it was led. It is Tyranitar lead. Oh, thank you. That Ursaluna is huge compared to that Tyranitar. Wow. Okay, we took Weather Control turn one. That's huge. They're going to swap in Arcanine and maybe Protect. I'm going to close combat the Ursaluna and Earth Power the Arcanine swap in. Ursa Luna swapped? That's where the Arcanine's coming in. Okay. Does that mean Tyranitar is also swapping? No. Okay, they got me good there. But Arc... Was that a crit? No? Okay, bye Arcanine. What? Huh? I don't think that was how that was supposed to happen. And I get the Earth Power into Tyranitar for free. That's Assault Nest. <laughs> uh, that was an Intimidate Arcanine, right? Pretty sure that wasn't supposed to KO an Intimidate Arcanine. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Here's where I would bring in Indeedee, if I had one. Pretty easy for them to fake out Lilligant and Rock Slide. Is this where I burn my Terra, or do I save it for Ursaluna? I think I could Terra go CC Tyranitar. And if they get weird, I could try to Weather Ball their Rillaboom. I feel like they probably cover for this. They probably Terra the Tyranitar, right? No. Oh, they fake out into Lilligant. Oh no. Oh no. Lilligant is eating this man alive. <laughs> Torkoal's helping. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> An incredible start. Oh, jeez. Lilligan just took out that Arcanine at minus one. That can't be normal. Like, I'm adamant. But that must have been, like, no bulk Arcanine. Like, max speed Arcanine. No bulk. 
or something. Alright, I don't want to throw. Both of my mons in the back should be able to take a hit from this thing anyway. I want to click close combat. I want to just click close combat helping hand. They're usually terra normal. If they're terra ghost and they pull it here, they get a double kill with Piper Voice. My Ursa Luna Arm Rouge in the back should be fine. Yeah, they're just terra normal anyway. Helping hand close combat should take it. At, at minus one... I mean, based on how much I did to that Arcanine, maybe I just take the KO here. But I think they have a chance at living this. Depending on their bulk investment. Hooligan's not the strongest thing. And see? Arcanine should have lived. Because I didn't have the helping hand when I hit Arcanine. Through Life Orb, they just take themselves out here and Lily Cole sweeps. Show me Life Orb! Show me not Throat Spray. Throat Spray would actually be scary. <clears throat> Torkoal, you did your job well. And they are Life Orb. Goodbye, Ursa Luna. Nice try. <laughs> Lilligant went in! Okay, maybe I should be bringing Lilligant more. I'm surprised they never swapped T-Tar. They just let it, gave me weather control, and then... Didn't Terra. <laughs> Alright, GG. Okay, Dubious. They've got... Oh, they've got a Vivalon. That's so cool. They also have Primarina, which has been giving my team trouble. Dragonite, Golden Go, Garchomp, Incineroar. They don't have any weather control. Their only terrain control would be Ice Spinner Dragonite. Lilligant can't touch a Golden Go, but after you Eruption sure can. They have one, two, three, four fire resists. Eruption does very little damage to the four, their four fire. They're not just fire resist. They're fire resist that can definitely take an eruption. If I indeed the Arm Rouge and they just Ice Spinner, how bad is that? If I don't need Torkoal, should I do indeed the Zork versus Luna Arm Rouge? Usually these Primarina teams have a Rillaboom to really scare my Ursa Luna, but if it's just Primarina... This might be the way. Primarina has been a real pain for my team. I don't know what I need to do better. Ooh, no trainer card. Maybe if I had like Leaf Blade instead of Solar Blade and I didn't need to bring Torkoal to send Leaf my grass move. Golden Go Dragonite. Okay. I hear you. I'm gonna follow me Trick Room. Except I don't have Follow Me Trick Room. I have Shadow Ball! Do I click follow me to make sure Zoro doesn't get hit? Do I hard bring in my armor, my real armor rouge here? Revealing my whole secret? Do I helping hand in case they're like Steel Terra? I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw a Psychic at the Dragonite to break a potential multi-scale and just Shadow Ball Golden Go. Ah, uh, we're seeing a Terra. I don't like that. Unless it's Dragonite. Ah, it's Golden Go. Not good. Terra Dragon. That's good for arm the real Armor Rouge. So they had all the fire resistances, huh? Oh, they go for Nasty Plot, though. That's pretty cool. They do have Ice Spinner, but it's into Indeedy. Who cares?
That did 50 some damage to Indeedee, who has 128. We've got, so that'll do about 75. Okay, Zorak can take that. Let me send in the real Armor Rouge. What's wrong with Shadow Balling the Golden Go again? What's wrong with Follow Me? No, I'll send in the real Armor Rouge. It seems safe. Shadow Ball Golden Go. There's a chance that that, that Ice Spinner didn't do too much. They might not be choice banned. And if they can switch up moves, I don't want to, like, lose Indeedee for some silliness. But if I lose Zorg, it's fine. With an extreme speed, okay. And they let me take Golden Go. Beautiful. I kind of want to get Zorg out so I can come back and start hyper-voicing later. I could bring in Indeedee here and either try to set Trick Room. They got extreme speed chip onto my armor, which I don't love. I guess it depends on what they bring in next. They don't have anything that can go down. Okay, yeah, they have Incin. They can't fake out the Zorark slot. One, either way. I could get a Shadow Ball into Dragonite. could bring in Indeedee, try to get the terrain, try to set Trick Room, but they should double Armor Rouge with, like, Knock Off Ice Spinner. Oh, yeah, that's the play. That's their play. I'll try to set Trick Room, and I'll bring in Indeedee over here. Because if I don't get Trick Room, then I can just bring Zorak back in and start smacking the bat. But if I do get Trick Room, then Ursa Luna can come in. It was Ice Spinner, but the Ice Spinner wasn't into Armor Rouge. Knock off. Doesn't take out Armor Rouge. <laughs> Got our Trick Room we wanted. Don't exactly know the speed tiers here. I just know I want to hard swap in Ursa Luna so I can get the guts triggered right away. So I need to follow me a potential knockoff. Yeah. And Dragonite shouldn't be min speed, so we sh we will be able to successfully redirect an extreme speed if they send that, which isn't a big deal, because I could see them extreme speeding armor. Right it's the play, but it would get follow me, and then indeed he would eat it, and then also eat a knockoff, and then we got in for free. Nope, just knockoff. Okay, what move does Dragonite go for, and how bad does it hurt? Ice Spinner, that's gonna hurt. Not too bad. Alright, now we show them Armor Rouge. Which they will extreme speed. Did they use Terra yet? They did use Terra already. Do they have a headlong rush swap in? Uh, maybe. But I'm gonna headlong rush, and I'm gonna bait them into E-Speed and try to get, get Zorak in there. Just to waste one of their turns. Maybe I should be giving them Armor Rouge? I mean, I don't have my Life Orb anymore, so attacking isn't gonna knock myself out. They could swap Ensign. Armor Rouge is swapping first, though. If they swap Ensign, we at least get information that our Armor Rouge is slower. Extreme Speed into Ursa Luna? That gives me their Incineroar. Okay. Next Extreme Speed probably takes Ursa Luna, though. Hmm. 
Did we use Terra yet? I don't think we did. Oh, we could Terra Ghost, couldn't we? Terra Ghost tried to facade the Dragonite. And then just Hyper Voice. If they redirect, live on Sash, take out one of my Mons, then I get Armor Rouge in. Which they can then extreme speed. I'm hoping they just want to go for extreme speed into my bear. Because that'll just take it out. Like, and Ursula, and Ursula can't swap into Arm Rouge, that would go down too. Yes, we get them! That's huge. Are they Rage Powdering? No, they're not. Bye, Dragonite. We might have to play Sleep Powder games now. Or they could just Hurricane and knock us out. Nice Sleep Powder games. Okay. Well, that's our mandatory turn. You can't sleep my Ursaluna, but you can KO it with whatever move you have. Last turn of Trick Room. I mean, if you protect here, you already burned Terra. If you protect, I think you need a spread move to win or a three turn sleep from Zorak. If you protect, Zorak gets a three turn sleep and you knock out Ursaluna. But then Zorak's faster than you. And you take out Armoru. I think I got this locked up. Yeah, they don't protect. Maybe they don't have it. But if you have... I don't know what moves you could have. Hurricane? Oh, that's rough. Because that's probably... Compound Eyes. They have Sleep Powder and Hurricane. So that Hurricane is actually 91% accurate. Probably would have taken me out, but if their only attacking move is Hurricane, the next turn I just Armor Cannon and Facade, and they can't knock us both out at the end. They would have had to hope I go for a Protect Trick Room play and throw. Zorg does stay asleep for three turns, though. But I'm guaranteed to wake up next turn, so th this doesn't matter. Uh, I guess, no, if you had Hurricane Ursa Luna on the Sash, Third turn sleep, you knock out Armor Rouge. Then I would have been faster next turn anyway. Yeah, th there was no way for Vivalon to win this. I'll just click Expanding Force and Hyper Voice. Zorak will wake up here and finish off the game. Let's go. Let's go, Zorak. Some butt. Bye, Viv. I love you. <laughs> I love that Pokemon. I've used Vivalon in a global challenge before. That was before I started my channel, though. GG. Get a trainer card! We're back. Thank you for watching this long. I hope you enjoyed. I can't imagine you made it this far if you didn't. Uh, but if you did, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and give this team a try. It's great on Best of One Ladder. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright. Peace.